So, as we apparently experience a resurgence of communism in the form of the Revolutionary Communist Party, would communism be good for Britain? Well, I'm joined now by a member of the International Secretariat of the Revolutionary Communist International. It's Fred Weston uh, and Cornel Oprea, who's a British-Romanian professional pianist who experienced life under a communist regime in Romania. Fred, I will start with you. I mean, it strikes me that communism has failed everywhere and has been responsible for between about 94 and 100 million deaths. Why would we want that in Britain? Uh, why would we want it indeed? Nobody would want what you just described. Um, what is communism? That's the point. What failed in Eastern Europe is not communism, i.e. it's not a, an economy which is run by the working class democratically, factories under workers' control, um, with um, full democratic rights for workers to express their opinions. It was the bureaucratic regime that, uh, that collapsed. Um, I'm a revolutionary communist, uh, a member of the Revolutionary Communist International, which will soon be founded as an international organisation. And what we're fighting for is for the working class to be in power, for the working class through its organisations mm -hmm. to have control over the economy, to have control over the big corporations so that they're not used for the profit of the few, mm. but they're run for the good of society. Right. Like, for instance, the water companies, the gas, the okay. electricity, the right. railways. Right. They should all be renationalized. I'll, I'll come I'll come back I'll come back to you. Um Kono, you you've you've lived under yes, I did. communism. Yes. What was it like for you? Uh, I would say awful, hell, horror. Uh as Fred has mentioned, being uh, everything in the hands of the people or a few. Actually, that happens uh, just probably in theory because it's not in the, in the hands of the people, it's in the hands of the elite mm. and the Communist Party. People will be just, and they've been suppressed under communism and they've just been enslaved. It's an enslaved country. That's why borders are closed. They can't leave. Towards the end, 100 Romanians per night were trying to escape the country. And they were actually caught, put in prison three to five years, shot dead, or they even didn't make it to cross the, the Nube or uh, their cemeteries mm. around the country. So that goes to show the communism how well it works. Yeah, and Fred, what would be different now? Because, I mean, look, with respect, you know, Chairman Mao's sitting up in his grave at the moment, wanting to know why it would be different in Britain under Fred Weston. So why would it be different under you? Well, I don't think it would be under me. Um, it would be under um, a system where the workers would be in power through their organisations, democratically controlled. Can you explain Because wasn't, wasn't that the plan originally? Hasn't that been the plan every I, time we've tried? I don't think that in Romania you ever had that. It didn't even start like that. It started off from day one as a regime that was based on... It was basically a photocopy of what you had in Soviet Russia under Stalin. Um, we don't stand for that. Uh, we are Trotskyists. We trace our roots back to Leon Trotsky and the left opposition. These are people who died in the camps defending the real ideas of October, the ideas of Lenin, the ideas of Trotsky, the ideas of genuine revolutionary communism. That's the first thing we've got to distinguish. Um, two... In an advanced capitalist country like Britain, with the enormous resources and, furthermore, a huge working class, the majority of the population is working class, um, it would be very different and it would be possible to establish a society where the major corporations, the big ones, are nationalised, under works control. All officials are elected. No official to earn more than the average wage of a worker. Because one of the problems in Romania was that the officials were privileged elite... Mm. I agree. They were living That's above the work. working class, right? They were not living like the working class. However, what's curious, I would like to add, is this. I was looking at some of the opinion polls and asked the question, why is it that several opinion polls show that close to half, between 40 and 50 per cent mm. of the population in Romania, look back to the old regime kindly? What? But well, I'll tell you what? what they're looking at. They're not looking at the dictatorship. Well, why, why, don't we, why don't we let the, the Romanian uh, chap explain a couple okay, of things? Yes. That, uh, I mean, I don't think I've... Uh, maybe the elder generation probably thinks uh, things were better then because probably they had more money, but 
You had more money because there was nothing to buy. I was six years old when, under communism, I, I was queuing for bread for one hour. I was... I, 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 I haven't seen this happening in Britain, and I hope it will never happen. I've seen people die, elderly lady falling and, and dying because she stayed for too long in the heat. And this is all caused to the heavy sh food shortages. What, for example, it was during the pandemic, there was nothing. Mm -hmm. Like, people in my country used to stay from two in the morning, queuing, till in the morning when it was opening the shop, the store, to buy um, oil. Yeah, yeah. I, so there I, were shortages. That's one point I'm actually scared of Britain becoming communist, because with, first, with, with, the, core, uh, with the border closed, what will be the internal produce? So when, you, when you hear what Fred yeah. said there, which is that what we have not had anywhere is, is proper, com, proper communism, right? Mm. Do, 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 but do you believe that, or is that the natural progression for communism? Is that it would, in your view, does it always end the way it ended for you? I think it does, because eventually, what makes people uh, angry is the shortages, isn't it? Is the hunger, mm -hmm. and Britain imports forty-six percent, fifty percent, eighty percent fruit. So, if there would be no imports, what would we be eating? I don't know, apples, what, pears. I, I don't understand why there wouldn't be imports and why the borders because would be closed. In, during communism, the, the, it's an internal, isn't it? It closes, the borders are no, closed. No, it doesn't. We're internationalists. We don't want communism in one country. Actually, we don't think it's possible in one country. That's the whole... But this is, another, but this is another issue, right? Which is that in order for your ideology to work, the, the world would have to become... It has to be international. ...your, your specific can I, can version of say, communism. It, the, the system that we live under is called capitalism. Yeah. Isn't that also a global system? And let's look at it globally. Talk about hunger. Mm. 10% of the world population today, that is about 800 million people, mm. are hungry. Are... I suppose the problem you have is that you have literally no evidence of your ideas practically working Work, anywhere exactly. in the world. Mm. Uh, capitalism, before it came into being, had no evidence that it would work, and yet there were people who fought for it we mm. always and, go and back achieved to cap capitalism. All right, all right, go on. We always go back to capitalism because it's been around for about 1,500 years and it works, it's the only thing that works because the power gets more distributed with communism, can... stays only at the elite. Can I just the say... rest are just working bees. You say, you say it works. There's 100 million displaced people around the world. People but he's from... one of them because of but... communism. No, he, he's, a, he's a musician. I was talking to him. He's a, he's a skilled yes, pianist. Yes, I am a musician. Right? But, and um... he, came, he came here freely. Um, Wasn't your uncle uh, shot? My uncle actually tried to escape Romania, and mm -hmm. uh, he, was, he was caught once. Luckily, he couldn't stay in prison much because uh, there were no spaces, because there were so many Romanians trying to, to run away. I sympathise with you completely. I, mm -hmm. I'd, be, I'd be horrified at something like that happening. That's not what we stand for. We don't stand for that kind of thing. The, the, the Trotskyists... You, I know you're laughing. Oh, no, no, I'm just... I, thought, I've, the I've, Trotskyists, I, I admire I'm, your ability to come back to this stuff. I the do. Trotskyists in the camps in, under Stalin were killed in their thousands, some of them singing the Internationale with the clenched fist. Those were the genuine communists, and they suffered just like what you're describing mm. to me. So we don't stand for that at all. Mm. We stand for genuine communism, and there is right. that possibility, because, look, you talk about capitalism working. A hundred million displaced people, Afghanistan, bombed to bits, Syria, etc. People living in desperate conditions, Congo, the Sudan, the killing that's taking place there, the killing in Gaza, okay. the war in the Ukraine. This is... All right, all right, all right. We don't have communism today, as far right, as I'm aware. Right. OK, I'm just going to give a very quick final yes. word to you. You're warning for people who are potentially going to go and vote revolutionary communists. What would that be? I would say uh, this, young, this youth is actually being led into a world of horror because they have no idea that, after all this, they voted for one thing, which in theory works, but actually it won't work in practice. All right. We're, 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 all right. Well, both of you, thank you very much. I did enjoy that, and I'm getting shouts out because it's gone on longer than we planned, but I was, I was enthralled by it. So thank you, and thank you, and I hope to talk to you both again very soon. That was a member of the International Secretariat of the Revolutionary Communist International, Fred Weston, and Cornel O'Preya, who is a British-Romanian professional pianist who did experience life under a communist regime in Romania. Coming up, I bring you the best bits of this great British tradition.